Hi guys, welcome back to Engineered's YouTube channel. I'm Patricia Bermudez and I'll be your host for today's video. So for today's video, we will be discussing two types of heat. So there, there is sensible heat and there's also latent heat. So the question asks, how much heat is required to change 100 grams of ice at negative 10 degrees Celsius to steam at 120 degrees Celsius? Give your answer in joules. So first, you have to know that specific heat or sensible heat. Sorry. Sensible heat. We know that sensible heat is heat associated with change in temperature. And the, te the equation for that is Q is equals to M C P delta T. So we have to know that this is for change in temperature. And then there is latent heat. And latent heat here is associated with change in phase. So the equation for that is Q is equals to M delta H, and this is associated with change in phase. We have to take note that these two processes cannot occur at the same time. Only one can occur at a time. So when there's a change in temperature, there is no change in phase. And when there's a change in phase, there is no change in temperature. So we have to know, since the question asks for um, the change of ice to steam, water is the one, the substance involved in this question. So we have to list down the CP for the three um, stages that the water undergoes. So first, CP is ice, right? And the CP for ice is 0 0.5 calories per gram Kelvin. And then for water, it is one calorie per gram Kelvin. And then for steam, it goes back to 0 0.5 calories per gram Kelvin, All right? And then for latent heat, we have delta H. We have two types of latent heat, the latent heat of fusion and the latent heat of vaporization. So the latent heat fusion, the value for that is 80 calories per gram. And there, there can be two signs for this, positive latent heat of fusion and negative latent heat of fusion. And for fusion, there's only two um, stages that's involved here, melting and freezing. So heat is gained when ice melts. So it is when it is used for melting. On the other hand, negative heat of fusion, heat is lost when water turns into ice. So when liquid turns into solid, so it is used for freezing. And then there is the latent heat of vaporization. And the value for that is 540 calories per gram. Likewise, there's two signs uh, that's associated with this. So um, the negative sign is used and heat is lost. So when gas turns into liquid and that water, in water, that happens when steam condenses. So negative is for condensation. And positive is fusion, so vaporization. All right, so now let's discuss the phases or the stages that the ice undergoes in order for it to become steam. So first, it is ice. And it is at negative 10 degrees Celsius. And then it's still ice, but it will change temperature. And it, it, the, the temperature here is the maximum temperature that the ice can reach before it turns into liquid. So the maximum temperature that the ice can reach is zero because that's the melting point of ice. So it is zero degrees Celsius. And after that, it will change phase because this is the melting point, right? It will melt. And like I said earlier, when it changes in phase, there is no change in temperature. So ice will turn into water, liquid water, still at zero degrees Celsius. And then after that, the ice, I mean the water, will reach its maximum temperature before it turns into steam. So the maximum temperature of water 
that water can reach, liquid water I mean, is 100 degrees Celsius. Why? Because it is the boiling point of water, right? And then after that, at this temperature, when it boils, water turns into steam, and the steam here, it's still at 100 degrees Celsius because there is no change in temperature when there, change, when there is a change in phase. And then it will reach the final temperature, which is 120 degrees Celsius, as stated in the problem here. Right? So now we have to this down the Q, which is the heat for it for each stage that I listed down. And those stages are indicated by the arrows. So there is Q1 here, and then there is Q2, and then there is Q3, there is Q4, and then there is Q5, right? So for Q1, we know that ice changes temperature. So when there's a change in temperature, it's sensible heat that is associated with this change. So the, the equation for that is MCT delta T. MCT delta T. And for delta T, is, it's T2 minus T1. And your T2 is this one, the temperature that it reaches, and T1 is the, fine, the initial temperature. So MCT delta T, so M, you know, is 100 grams. And then the CP for ice is 0 0.5 calories per gram Kelvin, and then T, T2 minus T1 is 0 degrees Celsius minus, minus 10, so it becomes plus 10 degrees Celsius. But for here, we will um, write Kelvin because the change in temperature in Celsius is also the change in temperature in Kelvin. Okay, we will calculate that later together. And Q2 here, the heat associated here is latent heat. Why? Because there is no change in temperature, but there is a change in phase. So the temperate the equation for that is M delta H of function because melting, it's melting that occurs here, right? So for fusion, we know that it's 80, but it melts. So it's positive 80. So um, it's still 100 grams. And then 80 calorie per gram. You can see here, that the, un the units will cancel off each other, like the grams, it will cancel off, the Kelvin will cancel off. Kasi this one, nasa denominator siya, ng dito. So, ito nasa numerator, ito nasa denominator, maka-cancel off siya. Okay? And then, after that, we will calculate Q3. And Q3 here is change in temperature. So, it goes back to sensible heat here. So, sensible heat is M, C, P again, delta T. The, the thing that will change here is the temperature changed as well as the C, P. Because now it's liquid water. So, for M, it is 100 grams again. And then C, P is 1 calorie per gram Kelvin. And the change in temperature is 100 minus 0. So, 100 minus 0 Kelvin. Okay. And then for Q4, we have... Change in phase again, because it remains at 100, but liquid water turns into steam. So the temperature, I mean, the equation here is M delta H of vaporization. Let's go back to this slide. We know that it's evaporation, it's positive, and the value is 540. So M is still 100, and then delta H vaporization of vaporization is 540 calories per gram. Yeah, and the last step here is Q5, which is just change in temperature, so it's sensible heat. So M, C, P, delta T, and it's 100 grams times 0 0.5 calories per gram Kelvin times the change in temperature, which is 120 minus 100 Kelvin. So ayan na, kompleto na lahat ng heat that is associated when ice at negative 10 changes into steam at 120. So, lahat naman ng units dito makakancel. Ang matitira dito is calorie. Here. Calorie. And then this one, yung grams makakancel. Calorie, grams, Kelvin, calorie. And then grams cancel, calorie, cal grams cancel, Kelvin cancel, calorie will remain. So, ang unit natin for the total heat here is in calories. Okay? So, first... Let's um, calculate for Q1 is 100 times 0 0.5 times 10. It's 500. No? 500 calories 
And then for this one, is 100 times 80. That's 8,000 calories. And then for Q3, it's 100 times 100. It's 10,000 calories. And for Q4, it's 100 times 540. It is 54,000 calories. One, two, three, three zeros. And then for the final, Q, just do 5, 100 times 0 0.5 times 20. It is 1,000 calories. So the total heat here is just the summation of all this. So total heat, total Q, is Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 plus Q4 plus Q5. And the summation is 500 plus 8,000 plus 10,000 plus 54,000 plus 1,000. And it's 73,500 calories. 73,500 calories. But here, the question asks for the heat in joules. So we have to multiply it with the conversion factor. So... Um, Q here is equal to 73,500 calories multiplied by conversion factor. For one calorie, there is 4.184 joules of energy. So calculating that, you see that the, the calorie will get cancelled off here and the joules will remain. So the answer will be in joules. So the answer here is... There are 307,524 joules. So that is our final answer for the question. And yep, if you see here, if you see, if you notice a pattern, first it is sensible heat, right? And then, so it's sensible. And then at Q2, it will be latent. So there's a change in phase. And then after that, it's sensible again. And then latent and then sensible. You can see there's a pattern. It, it is alternating. First it's sensible, then there's latent. Or it really depends on the question. Sometimes latent goes first and then it will be sensible, latent, sensible. It really depends on the question. Because sometimes when um, the question is given na, na zero degrees na siya, so mawawala tong stage na to. Ito lang. So magsisimula ka sa latent, sensible, latent, sensible. So ayun, there's a pattern actually. You have to take note of that. So yeah, this is our... Um, answer for the problem. Um, I hope you learned a lot from today's video and thank you for watching. Yeah. Thank you for listening as well. Goodbye.